He is uh, Ray Mabus. He is the U.S. Secretary of the Navy, the uh, 75th United States Secretary of the Navy, the longest to serve as the leader of the Navy and Marine Corps since World War I, uh, responsible for an annual budget of $170 billion, and uh, 900,000 people are under your watch. Is that right, Secretary? That's right. Wow. Do you know them all by name? Sure. Yeah, that's it. See, that's <laughs> How big is the entourage you brought with you today? Uh, travel team's about six today. Yeah. Do you have a go guy? Like, if you need something, like, you, there's a point per. Is there a more import, important person over there on the other side here? You're really that, trying that you can to get count me in trouble. Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> Do you have one person See, I got, you trust I got, more? I got two travel teams. Two. I got, um, because I've got a Navy aide, a Marine aide, a senior Navy aide, a senior Marine aide, and then. Um, but I got my one NCIS guy who's been with me for the for the whole time. Is he in the car? No, he's up here. Oh, he is. He okay. is. If one of my guys gets a little lippy, who wh- who's the guy you send in and say take care of that guy? Well, I got a seal that's. Uh, oh, uh, the Navy Seal. <laughs> Wait, where's the seal over there? Yeah. No, he's he didn't make this. Oh, trip. he did. Oh, okay. He played football in Navy. He did. Yeah, um, but uh, he jumped out of uh, one too many airplanes and. He had to have a little uh, surgery, and he's out for a couple of weeks. What kind of athlete were you? Uh, b- poor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how how competitive are you when it comes to Army Navy? And by the way, why isn't it called Navy Army? It's the Army Navy game. You win first, you sing last. Okay. And so, um, Navy wins more. Yes. And so, it's the second team that you. That oh, you so mentioned. you want to be the second team? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that because I thought it was called always Army Navy. It is, but uh, but the way the, after the game, you go to the losing team first and sing their alma mater, and then you go to the winning team. And so it's always Army Navy. Wait, will Navy go sing Army song? Yeah, we we go over and sing Army song. Will the players go over? Yeah, really. Yeah, I mean it's luck. We're on the same team. Yeah, in the end, but uh, no, it's a. It's a pretty moving thing. Is there smack talk? You know, the, like with the generals, like the important people here, the higher ups, do you guys talk trash to each other? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like what would you say? Like can you be mean spirited or? No, nah, you don't be mean spirited. But, you know, you say stuff like the last time Army beat Navy, the Army plebes that will be out on the field were three years oh, old. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have any memory of this. They yeah. don't know how to beat Navy. <laughs> <laughs> I was up at West Point. This is years ago. And the bed sheets that they would have on the dorm rooms with everything, and they would have some colorful things to say about Navy at the time. It, and, and I haven't been to the game. I've only covered Army getting ready for the game. And I, I just love the spirit of everything going. And I've never felt prouder that I went to a West Point game and I tell people, if you get a chance to go to a Naval Academy game or West Point, Air Force, do it. You never, you feel so proud of what these kids are doing and sacrificing. Yeah, you know, at Army Navy, there's the march on. So yeah. the entire brigade of midshipmen, the entire Corps of Cadets march onto that field. If that doesn't give you goosebumps, yeah. if that doesn't make you proud, then probably nothing, nothing's going to. And at the end of that game, Everybody that plays is going to turn pro. They're just going to turn pro in defense of our country. <laughs> now, how do you decide? Keenan Reynolds, you came on our air to say you were going to let him try to uh, play football for the Ravens. How do, you, how do you decide who will get that opportunity to maybe put their military commitment on hold? It's, whether number one, whether they get drafted. Okay. Um, and even if they don't, if they get signed as a free agent, we take a look at each case. Because we get a big a big pop out of sure. them going out and recruiting, yeah. them going out and doing public events for us. I mean, Joe Cardona is the long snapper for the Patriots. He spent his first year assigned to Newport. He was on active duty, but playing for the Patriots on the weekend. He took leave on the weekend. He made that team. Every time he would come into the game, they'd say, Joe Cardona, Navy Ensign, graduate of the Naval Academy. So I gave him a waiver um, the next year. So he's still long snapping for the Patriots. It's a great deal for us. I'll do it for athletes 
and they're not many. I'll also do it, you know, if you're a great cello player and you get drafted by the New York Philharmonic and are willing to make public appearances for us. He's the Secretary of the Navy. He's Ray Mavis. Uh, should I call you Secretary? What What is the protocol here? Yeah, that's our just a simple excellency. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but do you wish you were called like uh, commander or president or so, like secretary? I, I like that. It's pretty cool. Okay. It's, I just, a, it's the coolest job in the government. It's like, you know, Colonel Gaddafi. I always thought if you're calling yourself the colonel, why don't you call yourself like the general? Did you ever wonder that? You know, I didn't. You didn't? But, <laughs> but I didn't know I, Gaddafi, I, I, so. I have a lot of free time on my hands. <laughs> if you had to call the president right now, how long would it take to get him on the phone? I, I'm not going to talk about that. Why? Is that a secret? You know, I'll, uh, if I need to talk to the president, I can talk to the president. Yeah. But uh, I, don't, I don't time it. What's your, <laughs> <laughs> what's your, what's your Rolodex, though? Like how many, do you have numbers in your phone? Like, how, long, how many numbers do you have? You have a big a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, well I was I was governor of Mississippi. Yeah. So I have eight or ten thousand people in my on my phone. Who would surprise me though? Can you tell me who might surprise me that's in your phone? Is Archie Manning in your phone? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he and I, but he and I were at Ole Miss together. Okay. All right. And uh who would surprise me that you have in there? Brooklyn Decker. Brooklyn Decker's in your phone. <laughs> Well, we, we were in the movie Battleship together. Oh, okay. Was Rihanna in that movie too? She was, but you uh, didn't get your. We the, didn't have any scenes together. <laughs> yeah. How were you uh, as an actor? Great. Yeah, you, of course you were. Yeah, of course you were. I've um, I've been in Battleship. I've been in. Uh, I'm a recurring character on NCIS. I'm Agent Ray. There, and I've been in the Last Ship. I I played uh, the Secretary of the Navy. Oh, wow. Ship. Yeah. Yeah. So you, it's tough playing yourself, though, sometimes. Well, evidently I was dead. And, oh, you uh, were dead. I, I had left a video for uh, oh. that, that they found. They're trying to figure out a way to resurrect my character, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look good for me. Paulie, did we hear from West Point here when they knew that we were having the uh, Secretary of the Navy on? We sure did. We invited a few people. Okay. And uh, we got a statement from Robert L. Caslin, the superintendent of the U.S. Military Academy. A uh, message for the Secretary of the Navy from Superintendent of the United States Military Academy. This is typed out by them. Okay. High priority message. The Army has built a wall of defense, and on Saturday, Navy is going to pay for it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, I've, as you said, I've been in this job longer than anybody since World War I. This will be my eighth Army-Navy. And in the first seven, Army said pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Uh, but I've got half the street now, 14 years in a row. And – I brought a Navy football helmet that they're going to wear tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Paulie had it over there. And and it's got uh, 14 stars on it. For the, For the 14, 14 in a row? Yeah. Oh, man. Look at this thing. And it's got room for one more. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. That's great. We'll take a break here. We'll come back with the secretary. I like this trash talk in there. I do think that's a funny line, though, by West Point. Just saying. And by the way, we want to know if we could get a ship name after us. So give that some thought. Don't answer that yet, Secretary, okay? Just a small one. You know, it doesn't have to be anything big, but maybe name a, uh, a ship after us would be nice. It's coming up on uh, well, half past the hour, right? We'll continue with the Secretary of the Navy. We'll do so right after this in the Dan Patrick Show. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs> 